In this brief tutorial, I'm going to walk you through backing up and restoring your Fractal Audio Systems unit, whether that's an Axe FX3, an FM9, or an FM3. You can back up and restore your unit through either the standalone FractalBot updater and utility, or via the FractalBot utility included inside of each of Fractal Audio Systems product editors. Both of these can be easily downloaded from FractalAudioSystems.com by simply going to Support and Downloads for FractalBot, or editors for the unit specific editor. Here I'm using the AxeFX3, but the process is identical across the line of Fractal Audio Systems units. Note that navigating to an empty preset on your unit can improve the speed and performance of FractalBot. For this demonstration, I'll use the FractalBot within the editor itself. So we'll go to Tools, FractalBot, and here we are on the main FractalBot screen. To accomplish a backup, I'm going to go to the Receive mode, we will receive files from, in this case, the AxeFX3 to our computer. As you can see, the AxeFX is connected via USB, so we have three green checks, meaning that we're ready to go. The default location that we'll save the files to is our desktop, but if you'd like to change that, you can simply hit Browse and navigate to whichever folder you'd like on your computer. Finally, we hit Begin to receive files, and we're presented with the backup screen. By default, you'll see that a full backup of your unit is selected. So that's going to back up all of the preset banks, all of the user cabinet banks, as well as the system global blocks and FC controller settings, known more commonly as the system file. We also have the option to simply back up a single individual preset by selecting the number. We can back up the current preset from the edit buffer, so what we currently have loaded in our unit and we can back up an individual user cabinet from either user cab bank one, two, or three. For this demonstration, we'll back up the current preset in the edit buffer. So this number 500 plexi 50 watt that I have selected here, we'll hit okay. And the backup is complete and the file is now on our desktop. To restore this same file, we'll go to the send mode tab of FractalBot choose the file that we just backed up, which is Plexi 50 Watt. And then we'll send the file to the AxeFX3. For a single preset like this, when we send the file, it's going to be sent to the slot that we currently have selected on the unit. So in this case, it's number 500. We'll hit begin. The transfer is complete. And as we see here, the preset has been sent to the edit buffer of the AxeFX3. Now this does not mean that it is written into the unit, so if we wish to store the preset, we need to save it before continuing. So we'll just click out of this and hit save. And now the preset is loaded into the unit permanently. Now I should note that to restore a simple individual preset, you can just click and drag the sysx file of that preset from your computer onto the editor drop it here in this preset scenes box outlined with the yellow dashes. And the preset is now loaded into the edit buffer and you can hit save to write it into this preset slot permanently. For one more example of a backup and restore, let's go ahead and click begin again here on our receive mode, deselect all and simply select preset bank A. We'll back this one up, hit OK and FractalBot will begin backing up each individual preset in bank A, the first 128 presets in the unit, and collecting them into a single bank A file. Once the backup is complete, we can go to send mode, browse for our bank file, and send it back to the unit to restore. When we hit begin, we are presented with this screen, which tells us that we are permanently overriding 128 presets, and we can select a destination, bank A through H. For the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to overwrite the presets that we just backed up in bank A itself. I will hit send, and FractalBot will transfer and write that full bank into the unit. If you'd like to unlock the full potential of your Fractal Audio Systems unit, whether that's the AxeFX3, the FM9, or the FM3, Go to classes.coopercarter.com for my full Fractal Audio Masterclass series. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you all next week on Fractal Friday.